Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. In this video, I'll be showing you how I convert my Samsung Blu-ray player into this portable Blu-ray multimedia station. Let me show you how I did it. Let's get started. Alright, so here it is, my portable Blu-ray media station, or whatever you want to call it. The cool thing about this uh, multimedia Blu-ray player is that uh, I have ability to bring it along with me during camping. Now, of course, it's plugged into a PAL station, so I have a small portable PAL station uh, with the AC uh, plug. And this Blu-ray player can now be mobile, it's portable. In fact, this um, PAL station can last, uh, if I'm playing my Blu-ray player, with this Blu-ray and this 7-inch uh, monitor, it will probably last me about 9 to 10 hours worth of uh, playing movies, which is awesome. So how it works is this. I took this Samsung uh, Blu-ray Player. Now the model that I have is, I believe it's called uh, UBD K8500 model. That's the model of this Blu-ray Blu player. Now why is it important? Because the Blu-ray player, uh, some of the brand like the Samsung one, the more modern one, has a built-in, I would say a modified Linux or um, Android uh, software built into this and allows the uh, Blu-ray player to act like a mini computer, which is quite interesting, right? Now how I found this out is that there was a little uh, USB port right here, as you can see. And see so you can zoom that in there, okay? And I, you know, by accident, I decided, why don't I just plug in a uh, keyboard to it? And lo and behold, <laughs> the keyboard actually works on this Blu-ray player, which is quite amazing. I thought, wow. This is like a mini computer, which is quite fascinating, right? Because now this Blu-ray player can act like a mini computer, which is quite amazing. Now, of course, I had to um, add in a little bit of uh, stuff to it. As you can see here, I have external monitor, and I actually drilled in this monitor into the top of the Blu-ray player. The reason for that is I can just move this uh, monitor around. This monitor is actually uh, used for my uh, DSLR camera, but I have a couple of them. Um, actually, this one was given to me by Abby. Thank you, Abby, again. And I decided to make it into a uh, monitor to watch my movies, which is quite cool. Now, this monitor is special because you can actually, you know, just like a camera uh, monitor, this thing allows you to see false colors and all that stuff. So, you know, if I'm looking at or studying the film, I can actually, you know, adjust the different color and you know different mood of that film you know why would I do that well just a geeky kind of thing right but you could do that okay it doesn't matter the point is you can get a, a monitor put it and connect it to this blu-ray player and this monitor actually is connected through HDMI to this uh, blu-ray player as you can see at the back here okay so there's a HDMI to the 7 inch monitor and then the headphone is connected to this uh, monitor. Quite interesting. And then the keyboard is connected to the USB in front of the Blu-ray. So this keyboard is actually functional with a trackball, as you can see here, right? That allows you to uh, navigate through the menu. Let me show you, let me turn this on. Okay. And you can hear it's actually turning on right now. Now if you look at my PAL station here, you can see that it's using about 21 watt of power and I can, right now my thing is only 83%. I have about six hours of movie to watch and there we go. You can see there is the movie playing right now. Seven inch monitor, 1080p at least, I believe. And the color and the quality is amazingly good. <laughs> it's that good, okay? Um, so yeah, so now look at this. It's very portable. I can actually 
have this move around. Oops, I just turned it off. Let me just, all right, so here it is. This is the portable Blu-ray multimedia station. You can see the keyboard actually works. Uh, I can move this cursor around and I can click on it and I can get a different control over the video. Right, so if I click on here, it's almost like a mini computer actually. You have control over, like for example, I could uh, uh, add the subtitle if I wanted to. This one doesn't have any. And I can have different picture mode, scene, select scene. I can go to different scene. Let's say I can go to different chapters. Let's say I want to go to chapter five. There we go. As you can see, I can control this uh, DVD Blu-ray player with my keyboard with uh, limited function, of course. Uh, if the DVD or Blu-ray doesn't allow me, I can't control it. So I have to control it with the main uh, button in the Blu-ray player, okay? But as you can see here, we have different options. I can play my uh, Blu-ray or DVD uh, disc. Uh, if I have a multimedia, like say a, a USB stick, I can plug it in and you can also watch uh, different photos or if there's a video in there. There's also another function here. It says screen mirroring. So I can actually use it to mirror my smartphone onto this monitor through the Blu-ray player. So you can see it's definitely a a true multimedia PlayStation. And there's also YouTube. I can watch YouTube on this thing. It's pretty cool, right? And Netflix. Now, um, I tend to just watch YouTube and my Blu-ray disc or DVD disc that I have collected over the years. And so I love this thing because this is so portable. And this seven inch screen, you know, I'm sitting right close to my lap. Excellent, excellent to, you know, enjoy and uh, it's very convenient. If you have this uh, PAL station, for example, you should be able to um, you know, watch a movie for, if it's fully charged with PAL station, you can probably watch a movie for at least nine to 10 hours. That's pretty amazing. And you have this Blu-ray player, which th people think is obsolete. I do not think so. I think if you have a Blu-ray collection of movies and they're high quality, even DVD uh, movie collection, classic movies, Oh my goodness, this is going to be great because you have a, a pretty high resolution screen and you can, um, if you want, you can even uh, use your phone to uh, watch through the system because you have screen mirroring the smartphone. So you can do that as well. Okay, so let me show you quickly what I mean by that. Okay, so let's try the screen mirroring. Click on that and basically I'll look at my phone and find... Um, let's see if we can find a, there we go, screen sharing on my phone and I should be able to search for Samsung and there it is, Samsung shows up and I'm able to, <laughs> cool, isn't that cool, what, huh? There we go, you can see, and let's see if I can um, rotate my screen on my phone. Uh, okay, let's see if we can watch YouTube. And voila, you see that? Pretty amazing. So this <laughs> Blu-ray player, the Samsung uh, UBDK 8500 series, you can actually hook it up just like a computer, like a, almost like I would remind me of like Xbox or uh, Sony PlayStation, right? But except it's focused on movies, and yeah, and watching YouTube videos. Really, this is what it's built for, and this is pretty cool. I can share my uh, screen image from my phone to this device through the Samsung Blu-ray player, and this Blu-ray player can play Blu-ray, DVD, YouTube videos, Netflix, and I have full control of using my keyboard, and you can see the mouse here, or at least this one is a trackball. I can move around to navigate, and it works quite well okay so pretty cool so if you like this video please subscribe and give me a little heart of appreciation and I'll talk to you soon now next time I will also show you you can connect a laptop to a blu-ray player or recorder and make that even more functional because now a laptop you can serve the web this one can also serve the web as well but not very good but a laptop can do the full function of a 
uh, internet browser and then you can watch Blu-ray movies through your Blu-ray disc or DVDs um, and a nice full screen 1080p or more depending on your laptop. I'm going to show you that next time. Okay, so I'll see you later and have a good week. Bye.